Hello, um, my name is Sarah Jane Croson and I work as an educator in college-based higher education here in the UK. Now, college-based higher education is higher education, so degree courses, HMDs, HNCs, anything that we call from level four and above, and delivered in the context of a further education college. And further education colleges often have a very diverse learner population. So they could have learners who found school life quite difficult, who might be working at level two. Um, you might have learners who have left education, have come back to do very part time courses, lots of adults, lots of um, 16 to 18 year olds. It's a really exciting, it's a really vibrant sector. Um, but for openness, it can pose some problems. So, um, so recent research has shown that we have in college-based higher education a very high proportion of mature learners. We have a high proportion of part-time learners and often people who come to the further education college to be educated are those who are from the local area. So it's, it's not like the kind of university demographic, it's quite different. And often we specialise in sort of technical and vocational education, so I actually work in a specialist art college, an art school. Now, in terms of supporting students in their journey towards employment, we have to kind of give them access to lots of sort of tools and strategies to build up their professional profiles. So if we've got this big diverse population, we might get some students who really only ever use, say, social digital media to talk to their friends. Um, one of the learners I've worked with who is really sort of high flyer, really kind of academic, she had a profile on Twitter when we did some work um, teaching using Twitter and her profile was full of kind of drunken memories from when she was 14 and I did actually have to sit down and say you know are you sure do you want to think about this do you want to set up a new profile so there's a need to kind of educate learners in how to present themselves um, at the same time you've got mature learners in the same classroom as perhaps very confident um, 18 year olds and the mature learners may not be confident with technology at all. So we need to start try and find ways to support them in getting connected and feeling comfortable and not vulnerable in open digital spaces. So there's quite a few issues in terms of the um, framework as well of um, the Further Education College. And because it has quite a high proportion of vulnerable learners, you might find there are filters that stop you actually accessing certain open educational resources. I mean, we, we, for example, not in my college, but there are certain colleges who won't allow their tutors to have, say, Twitter handles. Um, they, won't, um, they won't allow access to YouTube. So we're always trying to work in this kind of negotiation space between the further education aspect of the college, the need for learners and higher level courses to really kind of understand how to cope in this sort of flexible and fluid 21st century context and our own needs as educators too. Now, I'm really com comfy with the digital, but a lot of colleagues, a lot of people working in um, further education aren't. There's a lot of fractional tutors and recent research again has shown that people are quite nervous about working in the social, about um, embracing social learning as a concept. So I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts about my sector and how we perhaps support our learners to work in the open. Thank you.